Hi, my name is Holly, and I'm the Children's Librarian at Alamosa Public Library in Alamosa, Colorado, and this is Storytime Online. Let's see what we have to share today. It's time to share a story, a story, a story. It's time to share a story, a story today with a fox wearing one sock and some different things and where do they go it's time to share a story a story today but first we always get our bodies ready for our story Today, we're going to do a familiar song, but we're going to throw in some extra sign language that we've never done before. So just follow me. It's easy. It goes like this. I am here, and you are here, and we are all together. I am here, and you are here, and we're going to have some fun. I'm going to clap my hands. I am here and you are here and we are all together. I am here and you are here and we're going to have some fun. I'm going to clap my hands. I'm going to stomp my feet. I am here and you are here and we are all together. I am here and you are here and we're going to have some fun. I'm going to clap my hands. I'm going to stomp my feet. I'm gonna nod my head. Mm -hmm. I am here and you are here and we are all together. I am here and you are here and we're gonna have some fun. I'm gonna clap my hands. I'm gonna stomp my feet. I'm gonna nod my head. I'm gonna wiggle my fingers. I am here and you are here and we are all together. I am here and you are here and we're gonna have some fun. I'm gonna clap my hands. I'm gonna stomp my feet. I'm gonna nod my head. I'm gonna wiggle my fingers. I'm gonna do the boogaloo. Did you bubble it? Last one. I am here and you are here and we are all together. I am here and you are here and we're gonna have some fun. I'm gonna clap my hands. I'm gonna stomp my feet. I'm gonna nod my head. I'm gonna wiggle my fingers. I'm gonna do the boogaloo. I'm gonna have a seat. Very nice. Now before we get started, grown-ups, I have a secret for you. Today's books are themed around math talk, which may not be super obvious because I don't have counting books. I don't have an obvious shape book here, but math talk can be so much more than that. There are more skills to develop like problem solving, categorization, um, noticing patterns. We're going to do that today. Cause and effect, and also change over time. So we're going to expand our math talk today, and I'm going to model some math talk, or at least that's my plan, but I bet you're doing it more than you think you are. So notice it today when you're talking with your kids. Yes, count those apple slices at snack time aloud, but also notice when you're problem solving out loud or notice the patterns when you're folding the laundry or talk about temperature when you're cooking dinner and give yourself an extra pat on the back. You're doing a great job. So back to story time. Take a look at your feet. Are you wearing socks? If you are not wearing socks, press pause on story time, ask your grown up for help if you need it, and go put on a pair of socks for today's story. 
I'm Ryan Sox. Go ahead, press pause. We'll wait for you. Okay, is everyone wearing socks? Do your socks match? Match means that both of your socks look exactly the same. They are the same color, they have the same pattern, they're the same shape and size. Or are you wearing socks that do not match? Socks that look different. I have a pair of matching socks here. They both have stripes. They both have navy blue at the top on the heel and on the toe. They're the same size and pretty much the same shape. But what if I put on these socks? Do these socks match? No, I would say these socks are, yep, different. These socks have stars on them and these socks have hearts on them. But sometimes it can be fun to wear socks that are not matching. But what if you wanted to wear your star socks in a matching pair? Pair, that means two. But you can't find your matching star sock. <gasps> well, would you believe it? I have a story about something very similar. This story is called, I Lost My Sock, a Matching mystery. And it's by PJ Roberts and illustrated by Elio. I lost my sock. Uh-oh. Look, this book has a boo-boo. Accidents happen. We try to be really careful with our books, don't we? I lost my sock by PJ Roberts and illustrated by Elio. I lost my sock, said Fox. What does it look like? asked Fox. There's Fox. Do you see his sock? Hmm. It looks just like this, said Fox. Is this your sock? asked Ox. not my sock, said Fox. My sock is blue. How about this? asked Ox. Do you see what Ox has? Well, is it a match for Fox's sock? It is blue. No, said Fox. My sock has dots. Then this must be your sock, said Ox. Hmm. This sock has dots. Is it a match for Fox's sock? Ox is really trying to help solve this problem. No, said Fox. Those dots are small. The dots on my sock are big. Hmm. I found your sock, sang Ox. My sock is not in this box, said Fox. But I see something with big round dots, said Ox. That is a rock, said Fox. Hmm. Does have dots. Your sock must be in here, said Ox. So many socks, cried Fox. Do you see one that matches mine? You take a look. There are lots of socks there. Do you see one that matches Fox's blue? sock with big dots. 
Mm. I don't care. <gasps> nope, said Ox. I don't see your sock anywhere. Guess it's time to go. Ox, shouted Fox, you found my sock. Where, where, asked Ox. It's on your head, said Fox. <laughs> this, said Ox, this is my brand new hat. I just found it this morning. Do you like it? That is not a hat, said Fox. That is a blue sock with big round dots. That is my sock. This is a hat, said Ox. This little hole fits my head perfectly. That little hole, said Fox, is for my little leg. And the top of my hat is the perfect place to put things, said Ox. But that's the bottom of my sock, said Fox. That's where I put my foot. It's where I put my oranges, said Ox. <laughs> Why don't you put your oranges in your pockets, asked Fox. Because I'm not wearing pants, said Ox. Good point. Ox, said Fox, you are one of a kind. You can have my blue socks with big round dots. Thank you, Fox, said Ox. They are my most favorite things. Now, said Fox, have you seen my shoe? Oh boy. The end. Lots of problem solving, lots of matching in that story. Let's see. I'm going to put our book down here because we have a pair of socks here to look at. My blue striped tall socks. I'm going to put them right over here. But I have some more socks. Take a look. These socks. Hmm. Why do you think these socks are so small? I use these socks when I'm wearing shoes that I want to hide my socks. They stretch around my foot and they go deep down inside my shoe. But I have a pair of orange socks. One. Two. So here's my pair of blue socks and my pair of orange socks. Let's see what else I have here. How would you describe these socks? I might say these socks have stars on them. Or I might say these socks are teal with pink heels and toes and yellow stars. There's another pair. Let's put this pair right up here, like this. A pair of socks. Remember that means two pair. Oh boy. Check out these socks. These socks have a fox and a little pom-pom tail on the back. There's my fox socks. And one last pair. How would you describe these socks? I would say these socks have a heart pattern. Maybe I'd even say a pink heart pattern. I'm gonna put them right up there. Let's see, I have one, two, three, four, five pairs of dirty socks. Five pairs of dirty socks on my bedroom floor. I washed the blue pair. And then there were four. 
one pair, two pairs, three pairs, four pairs. Four pairs of dirty socks that all belong to me. I washed the star pair. And then there were three. One pair, two pairs, three pairs. Three pairs of dirty socks. What's a kid to do? I washed the orange pair. And then there were two. One pair, two pairs. Two pairs of dirty socks. I wear them when I run. I wash the heart pair. And then there was one. One pair of dirty socks. I found them in the hall. I wash the fox pair, my favorite pair of all. No more dirty socks. I washed them all today. But come back tomorrow, there'll be more on the way. Are you still wearing your socks? I'm wearing my socks. My socks have grippies on the bottom. Let's see. <clears throat> Next. Oh, let's see. I wanted to... Talk about one more thing about socks. Can you tell somebody in the room about these socks? Can you describe them? You could tell about the color. You could tell about the pattern. You could tell about the size and the shape. Now, can you describe or tell about the socks that you're wearing to somebody else in the room? I'll tell you about my socks. My socks have grippies on the bottom. They're purple and they have a B on the top. One more way I can describe my socks. Stinky. Why do socks get stinky? We wear them on our feet and we put them inside our shoes. Sometimes they get stinky. Maybe today you could get your socks and organize your socks into pairs. You could match them. Maybe you could put them into two different groups. Maybe you could put the tall socks in one pile and some short socks in another pile. Maybe you could ask your grown-up if you can help sort the laundry, sort the socks in the laundry, and match the socks together. Or maybe you could organize your sock drawer. I keep my socks in a box. Where do you keep your socks? Before you go organize your socks today, let's do one more story together. Let's keep thinking like mathematicians. This story is called, Do You Know Which Ones Will Grow? And it's by Susan A. Shea. And Tom Slaughter painted these illustrations. I like this book for Math Talk because it sorts things into two groups. You'll see that very clearly. It also illustrates change over time and helps you notice some things that do not change over time. Do you know which ones will grow? These beautiful stripes. Do you know which ones will grow? By Susan A. Shea. Paintings by Tom Slaughter. If you look around, you'll see some things grow, like you and me. Others stay the way they're made until they crack or rust or fade. Do you know which ones will grow? Think and answer yes or no. If a 
duckling grows and becomes a duck? Can a car grow and become a truck? Yes or no? Can a car grow and become a truck? No. Cars stay cars and trucks stay trucks. If a cub grows and becomes a bear, can a stool grow and become a chair? Yes or no? Can a stool grow and change into a chair? No. If a kitten grows, and becomes a cat. Can a cap grow and become a hat? Does a cap grow and change? No. A cap stays the same. If a kid grows and becomes a goat, can a sweater grow? and become a coat? What do you think? Does the sweater grow or no? If an owlet grows and becomes an owl, can a washcloth grow and become a towel? Does a washcloth grow? Yes or no? No. Yes to ducks, bears, and owls. No to trucks, chairs, and towels. Yes to cats. Yes to goats. No to hats. No to coats. If a calf grows and becomes a cow, can a shovel grow and become a plow? What do you think? Does a shovel grow? It's shovel, a shovel for the snow. Well, this one's for the sand at the beach, but you could use a shovel for the snow. Does it then grow into a plow truck? Yes? But no. If a snakelet grows and becomes a snake, can a cupcake grow and become a cake? Oh, I wish. Can a cupcake grow and change into a cake? No. Cupcakes usually disappear. If a piglet grows and becomes a pig, can a pickup truck grow and become a rig? Can this small truck grow into a big truck? Yes or no? Uh, no. If a kit grows, and becomes a fox. Can a watch grow and become a clock? Does the watch that goes on your arm grow and change into a clock? No. If a joey grows and becomes a kangaroo, can a baby grow and become you? What do you think? Do babies grow into big kids? Yes, that one's true.
Yes to cows. Yes to snakes. No to plows. No to cakes. Yes to pigs. Yes to fox. No to rigs. No to clocks. Yes to a jumping kangaroo. Yes to a living, growing you. The end. Actually, I'm going to put this one down here too. So we're going to do one more song that's kind of a game. And then maybe you could figure out a way to sing it and play it at your house with your things. I'm going to use my instrument for this song. Nice little easy song. And you can use your hands and pat your lap to help me keep the time. It's another milestone. Ready? It goes like this. Do you know which ones will grow? Which ones will grow? Which ones will grow? Do you know which ones will grow? Tell me yes or no. Here's the yes. Let's put it up here. It's kind of like the yes in the book that Tom Slaughter painted. And here's the no. Put it right up there. Let's see, here's our first one. Tell me yes or no. Can you see what that is? That's a little baby chick. Does a chick grow? Yes or no? Yes, a chick grows into a chicken. I'm going to put this chick right here by the yes. Let's do it again. Do you know which ones will grow? Which ones will grow? Which ones will grow? Do you know which ones will grow? Tell me yes or no. Tricycle. Does a tricycle grow into a bike? Mm. No. Tricycles don't grow. I'm going to put it up here with no. Let's do it again. Ready? Are you going to pat the beat with me? Do you know which ones will grow? Which ones will grow? Which ones will grow? Do you know which ones will grow? Tell me yes or no. Mm. How about a window? Does a window grow into a door? Yes or no? No. A window does not grow into a door. A window stays a window. No, it doesn't grow. Put it with the no. You ready to help me? Pat the beat. Do you know which ones will grow? Which ones will grow? Which ones will grow? Do you know which ones will grow? Tell me yes or no. It's a seedling. Does a seedling grow? Hmm, what would a seedling grow into? A plant? A flower? A carrot? Does a seedling grow? Yes, a seedling grows. Let's put it over here with the yes, with the little chick. Ready? Do you know which ones will grow? Which ones will grow? Which ones will grow? Do you know which ones will grow? Tell me yes or no. Hmm. Oh boy. Can you see what that is? It's a puppy. Does a puppy grow? What would a puppy grow into? A dog. Does a puppy grow? Yes. Let's put the 
chubby with the chick and the sea vein. There he is. One last one. Do you know which ones will grow? Which ones will grow? Which ones will grow? Do you know which ones will grow? Tell me yes or no. Can you see what those are? That is a pair of shorts. Do shorts grow? Do shorts grow into pants? No, shorts stay shorts. They don't grow and change. I'm gonna put them with the no. No, shorts do not grow. Let's see, let's sing it one last time. Do you know which ones will grow? Which ones will grow? Which ones will grow? Do you know which ones will grow? Tell me yes or no. This is my auto harp. Thanks, auto harp. That's all the stories that we have for today. So that means it's time for us to sing goodbye. And after we sing goodbye, I hope that you go sort your sock drawer. Or maybe you could sort your toys in your room into categories. Maybe not toys that grow and toys that don't grow, but maybe you could have a group of toys that are red and toys that are not red. Maybe you could have a group of toys that have wheels and a group of toys that do not have wheels. That would be fun. Oh, and the sock sorting and matching. I hope you have a great day today, but it's time to sing goodbye. We sing this one that goes, see you later, alligator, in a while, crocodile, give a hug, ladybug, blow a kiss, jellyfish, see you soon, sweet baboon, out the door, dinosaur, take care, polar bear, wave goodbye, butterfly, goodbye, goodbye, hope to see you soon.